So if you want to say that a number x is between two other numbers, there's a couple of different ways to write that, and you need to be familiar with both of those. So this says that x is in the set of numbers uh, between 2 and 5, but not including 2 and 5, because this says that 2 is less than x, and x is less than 5. On a number line, we draw it like this. So all of the values between 2 and 5, but an open circle here and an open circle here, because I'm not including 2 and I'm not including 5. Now, there is another way to... Um, show that exact same information. So another way to write that is that x is in the set 2 to 5. Now these rounded brackets mean the same as don't include 2 and don't include 5. But this notation, this interval notation, says include everything between 2 and 5. But what if we had something like this, where x was between 2 and 5 but including 2 and 5? Well, on our number line, that's pretty straightforward. Same sort of number line, 2 and 5, and a line from there to there, but a coloured in circle and a coloured in circle. So on our number line, that's fine. But what about this notation here? Well, we say that x is in the set of 2 to 5. And this time, this square bracket means include the 2 and include the 5. Now, it's not hard to see that you can use these in, um, in combination. So, this says that x is uh, greater than 2, so 2 is not included, but 5 is included, so we're going to need one of those. So, an open circle here and a closed circle here. Now, for our interval notation, that's going to mean that x is in the set. Now, we don't want to include 2, so we use an, a um, curved bracket there. But we do want to include 5, so we use a square bracket there. Now, obviously, this works in vice versa. If that was a, a whole, if it was a solid circle and that was an open circle, we'd swap those brackets around. So what about this one? x is in the set where x is greater than or equal to 4. All right, let's draw it. We've got a 4 there. Greater than or equal to means that we use this one here, and then we go on. But this goes on forever and ever and ever, because x could be a million, a billion, a gajillion, it goes all the way out to infinity. So, in terms of this one here, we say that x is in the set. Okay, so we need 4, but we need to include 4. Okay, and then it heads off to infinity. But should I use a square bracket or should I use a curved bracket? Well, when I first saw this, I thought I should use a square bracket because I'm going off to infinity. But you can never reach infinity. So you can't use a square bracket because you can't include infinity because you can never get to infinity. So when we're talking about infinity, we always, no exceptions, use this curved bracket. This would also hold if the arrow was moving in the other direction and we had uh, a negative infinity on the left-hand side we'd use a curved bracket for negative infinity. But there isn't much more I need to say here. I just want to make sure that we understand we always put the smaller number on the left-hand side and the larger number on the right-hand side. We'd never write 5, 2. We always write 2, 5, smaller, and then larger. Um, and that's about it. Practice, practice.